Hey, what's up, everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today, we're looking at the F2 Bravo. So this came to me from Tecto Knives. These guys are based out of Maine, not far from me in Portland, Maine. Uh, I live in New Hampshire, but pretty close to the border of Maine. And uh, when they reached out to me, I was like, yeah, let's definitely check this out, especially because these guys are local. You know, they're only pretty much an hour, not even uh, away from me. And so I love supporting local uh, knife makers and businesses. So let me give you some of the details on this. So again, F2 Bravo, uh, price point is about 140, comes in D2 steel. Uh, here's what it says on their website about it. The F2 Bra Bravo embodies the meaning of modern simplicity. The lines and details of the F2 Bravo combine to create something that is timeless and well thought out. It exudes premium feel from the machine pocket clip to the custom titanium accents, the state of the art ceramic ball bearings. Uh, the recess liners also make for an overall clean appearance while providing rigidity to the handles for excellent grip and comfort. So you do have a couple different options available uh, when it comes to the colors. Uh, this is the forged ember with black accents. You can also get it with forged carbon, silver accents. G10, uh, that's green with black accents. Black G10 with blue accents. Or forged carbon with blue accents. So a bunch of different options there. Let me do a little close-up here for you to look at this. So slick profile, kind of a smaller, thinner blade. Let me close it up here, show you the handle. So cool handles. When I first saw it, I was like, that's red. There's no red option. I'm like, oh, forged ember, that's what it is. So and over here, you've got that nice deep pocket clip. I mean, look at that thing. Really nice and deep, that thing sits there. Do have a uh, slot there for a lanyard. Show you the top now. I'm sorry, the bottom, I guess, right? That's the bottom. Yeah, there's the bottom. Because I can see the liner lock. There's the top here. Check our centering. Yeah, that looks good. Got the uh, flipper here for deployment. So I'll flip that and it comes out. So that's what it looks like. Let me give you some of the details now as far as length, weight, things like that. All right, so your blade length is 3.1 inches, that's 80 millimeters. Your handle length, 4.40 inches, that's 112 millimeters. Open length, 7.80 inches, that's 198 millimeters. Your weight is 2.4 ounces, that's 68 grams. It is a liner lock, it does come with a pocket clip. It does have a titanium coated D2 steel for the, um, for the blade. Uh, your blade hardness is gonna be Rockwell 58 to 60. The blade type, you can see it's a drop point with a fine edge. There's no glass breaker uh, added to or included in this knife. So when I saw this thing, one of the first things I thought of was uh, the CRKT CEO. It's got kind of a similar feel to that. Also, this guy, which is, let me see if I can keep this all in line here. That's the Osborne from, uh, from our friends over at Benchmade. Um, definitely a larger, a wider blade there. Excuse me, bumping the camera. Wider blade there, bigger handle, but similar kind of low profile feel. And neither of these knives would I be using out in the woods or for super aggressive use. I think these are classy everyday carry knives for cutting open packages, cutting open envelopes, doing a little bit of, you know, maybe slightly a more aggressive work, but definitely not something I'm going to be taking out into the, uh, out into the wilderness with me. So this is one of those things that, that came to mind when I, uh, when I saw it. I do like the profile of it. I do think it's a slick looking knife. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to EDC this for a bit. And then after I use it for a bit, I'll let you know what I think about it. All right, we're back here to talk about the F2 Bravo. So I've been EDCing this for a bit. It's a great knife. I showed this to a buddy of mine the other day and he was like, wow, what a great profile. Uh, everyday carry knife. That's what it is. That's what it's going to function well as. It does come with a ballistic nylon sheath, which I will fold it up here and put it in the sheath for you. That's what that looks like. So it seems like it's pretty ruggedly built. It's got hook and loop there on the front. You do have a little loop that you could run some paracord through or something like that. And then here is your, uh, here's your belt loop. Now I will say that's a pretty th small belt loop. So it's gonna be a little bit challenging, I think, to get a larger belt through there. But I'll just show you here. Slide this guy in, close it down. That's what it looks like. Now, this is the kind of knife for me where I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not a sheath guy in general, but I'm not going to carry it in a sheath just because I don't, I, I, yeah, I just don't use sheaths and it'll fit nicely in my pocket. I mean, nice, slim profile here. 
So I'm gonna roll in some footage so you can see what it looks like in use. Um, it does cut well. You know, you'll see it cutting some cardboard and some other things, but uh, the slim profile allows it to be very slicey, as I like to say. Um, so yeah, first off, I've got a discount code. You can check it down in the description section so you can save some cash if you wanna pick up one of the, these knives or something else um, from Tech Toe. Um, Portland, Maine, that's where they're based out of. Like I said, it's a, um, it's a local company to me. I'm, I'll be looking forward to see uh, to seeing you know what other knives these guys have available. Um, I'm hoping I can review some more from them, continue to support a local business, and also let you guys know about um, some blades. Again, like I said at the beginning when I first opened this up, I was like, that reminds me of the CRKT CEO. Um, a little bit bigger, but I kind of like that. It's got a little bit more chunkiness to it than the CEO, which allows me to feel like I can use it a bit more aggressively. But I've liked it. Now, I will say, some people are going to say, you know, 139 even with a discount, if you save yourself 10 bucks, let's say, um, you know, that's a lot of money for D2 Steel. I agree with you. Um, it is it is designed and built by a company that doesn't have a massive production center. So you are definitely paying for uh, somebody who is designing the knives, building the knives, and they're making money to basically pay the bills on it. So I like that idea. Now, while I got this for free, um, if you have to buy it, just remember you're supporting a local or, or a small business that's starting up and, uh, you know, just the profit margin is so small when you're starting a business. I like the idea of being able to back these guys up on my end by letting you guys know about them. And then in the future, if I want to purchase a knife, you know, this is a company I would go check out because I like what they're doing, but then also you're supporting a local business. So you got the, uh, the F2 Bravo from Tech Toe. Cool knife. Um, I've enjoyed using it. And um, let's hear your thoughts on it. You know, what do you like about it? What would you change? Give me feedback. I know especially for companies that are just starting out, they love to hear feedback because it helps them make adjustments and changes to their blades, their knives, their production, etc. So let's get that conversation started in the comment section now. All right. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.